Uh, one more thing to note about if statements is that um, if you want to check for for a different type of condition before jumping to this else, um, you do that with another type of block, which is the else if block. So here you put another condition. So answer equals 9 times 5. Um, let's see. Let's do if their answer. Uh, oh, here we go. So if their answer is greater than 9 times 5, then let's say that's too high. Um, and then let's have another check answer is less than 9 times 5. Oops. Then we'll go ahead and say that's too low. Um, so the tricky thing about these if, else, if, else, if, else is you have to keep in mind that so this is going to check if answer equals 9 times 5. This is going to check when this condition is false, it's going to jump down to this and check if answer is greater than 9 times 5. If that is false, then it's going to jump down to this and check if answer is less than 9 times 5. And if that is false, which means that all three of these were false, then it's going to go to this else. Um, which doesn't make sense this time because uh, your answer shouldn't... Um, it should always be either less than, greater than, or equal to. Um, because that's how it works with math, but in other circumstances this else can be actually necessary And sometimes it's nice to put in an else even when you don't expect it because then uh, If it does if these conditions are false, which you would never ex expect, but uh, Sometimes you might have made a typo or something uh, Then you put in this else and then you say unexpected result so that way if you see this unexpected result, you know that uh, something went wrong here and you can go and look over that so uh, if else if else if else you can have as many of these else ifs as you'd like um, so they're pretty useful to change things up so what do I think is 9 times 5 uh, I think that's 36 nope that's too low let's try again 9 times 5 I think that's uh, 81 that's too high let's try again 9 times 5 46 that's too high uh, let's try 45, and then it tells us that we're correct. So, um, there you go. That's just a, a look at if statements and the way that you can change uh, behavior of a program depending on certain conditions. As you can see here, you don't have to declare these separate variables for the conditions. You can put them straight in these parentheses like I did with these. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I think that'll do it for this video. I'm going to talk a little bit more about some various operators that you can use with if statements, um, but not today, because I don't think I remember them all. Um, but later, when I use them, I'll outline them and say, oh, this operator does this. Um, so you, you'll kind of see that in the coming videos. Uh, so so that's, that's something to look forward to. If you like this video, rate it high. If you didn't, rate it low. If you have a question, leave a comment or send me a message. Um, and if you're liking the videos, uh, hit the subscribe button, and you'll be notified whenever I come out with a new video. So thanks, guys. I'll see you later.